Hey guys, welcome to the video. Before we get going, I wanna encourage you, hit that like button, also hit the subscribe button. Uh, down below, you're gonna see a button that says thanks. If you hit that, you can help uh, support my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Also wanna point out in the description of every one of my videos, you're gonna see a link to modernmetaldetectors.com. These guys are great. Free shipping in the US, no tax, Great customer service, guaranteed low prices, modernmetaldetectors.com. Check them out. Now, onto the video. Just dipping into this field. Uh, this field has just been plowed. They haven't planted anything yet. Um, so I'm gonna mess around a little bit in this field. They plowed pretty deep, so that's, that's a good thing. So I'm curious. It's really hard to walk in this kind of ground. For me personally, I have a bad back but I'm gonna give it a shot as best I can because they did plow it so deep, it's really turning up a lot of things that uh, would, have, would have been more difficult before. This thing I just hit, I have to go back and look on my detector, but it didn't show, oh, no way. It didn't show iron. You know what, just looking at this, I think I know this, I think this is an old iron. Man, that's cool if that's what this is. I'll bet you anything. Uh, what, 20 yards behind me, near where I parked, uh, is an old house, an old shack that the property owner, um, I won't get into too many personal details, but yeah, that house goes way, way back. Uh, and then there's another house that's just, just all fallen down, but that's, that's out here on this property too and that dates back to the 1800s it's it's vacant but it was all his his family lived out here i'll look into it more i'll clean it up um i don't know i'm just guessing but i'm seeing a kind of a, a spot here and a spot here maybe that's where the the handle went you know these old irons this is a type that you'd you'd actually set on the stove to heat up just a big old piece of iron you'd heat it up and then take it off and use it but that's cool definitely cool okay all right on to the next hey guys check out this iron now that it's all cleaned up i'll put some pictures up of it uh, this is just beautiful it has spent a long time going through the, the electrolysis process that i have uh, going i've Got another video that specifically covers my attempt uh, or my journey into electrolysis, cleaning up old iron relics. Anyhow, this thing turned out awesome. Uh, this is what's called a sad iron. Now, sad is an old English word meaning solid or heavy. So when it comes to antique irons, that's what this is. It's a sad iron. Now, some had a detachable, you can see the two studs right here. Some had a detachable wooden handle. This is just a huge chunk of cast iron, uh, probably from the 1800s. And I was surprised to find this. This was just a really neat surprise. And uh, it looks beautiful now. And it's going with all my other relics to display. <clears throat> High 40s up to a 50. What is that? It's got some weight to it. Just feeling it, I think I know what it is, but... Wow. That's pretty cool. And I know it because I found them before. This right here is a chewed bullet. This is probably... I mean, there's really no telling what it is. Um, it could be like an Enfield or a Pritchett bullet, which a little slimmer and longer, but uh, this is chewed. Man, that is just chewed up. And this would be chews, chewed up by an animal, probably in this area, probably a hog. But that's what this is. This is a Civil War bullet. It's got the white patina on it. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well... Like I said, I've not been in this area. I know everything that's happened here, but it is just cool to find relics 
in an area where you haven't. It kind of verifies what you think you know about a place. Um, and as you're finding them, it just, it just speaks to you. So very cool. We'll keep going see what this field's got to offer. It's a good high tone. High 70s up to an 80. Yeah, I'll dig that. I wish I... Holy crap. That's a... Doggone, that's a bunch of ants. Those are a bunch of fire ants. Son of a gun. Well... Now what to do? Oh man, I dug straight down in the middle of those things. Oh, they're pissed. I gotta see what they're hiding. Oh, dang it. Here, hold on. Move my detector out of the way. Man, dog on it. There it is. I think that's a coin. Yeah, it's a coin. I'm gonna get the freak away from that. Do I get ants on me? Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten into fire ants, but not fun. So this is a dime. Hmm. What's the year? Can it be old? Can it be a sewer? Got this old magnifying glass just for that. Doggone it. 1993. Dang. So all that for a 1993 dime. So, oh well. I pulled it out before I, you know, in the midst of all these fire ants. And I saw a head on it and I was thinking like a barber dime or something. But... No such luck. Oh well. Okay, this is iron. Well, it's iron, but it's looking funny because it's got some non-ferrous uh, signal mixed in with it. So, Okay, it's in my hand. Here we go. What the heck is this? That's a big old chunk. This has got some thickness to it, and its I can sense that it's got a curve on it. See that? It's got a... it's rounded. Yeah, I think this could be a shell fragment. Sweet! I bet you anything that's what that is. The roundness, the thickness... Yeah. Look, I'm not one of those guys that I don't I don't profess to be an expert. I know there's guys that are that are super knowledgeable. They see the corner of something sticking up out of the dirt and they can tell you exactly where it came from and how many were made. But you know, I'm just out here metal detecting. You're you're out here with me metal detecting. So I know a lot of stuff about the Civil War and I know a lot about relics those that I've found, those that I've studied and read about, but you know, I'm not an expert on everything and I'll tell you shell fragments not shell fragments, artillery shells and cannonballs and things like that, I'm not an expert on so I know enough to be able to tell when it's, you know, staring me in the face but we'll clean it up, but that's kind of exciting, because I think that's exactly what it is I could just draw a line to where the uh, that artillery shell was with the case shot around it. It was just straight there. So from where it was fired, um, where they were coming from. So again, Confederate lines, and I am I don't I'm not up at the front of where the Confederate lines were, but there were so many thousands of troops right here. This was all occupied, so the Union was was uh, lobbing those shells into this area uh, for, for quite a while. So, um, 
yeah, that's why I'm kind of curious what was in this section of the field that I've not detected before. But uh, let's keep going. Hey guys, so this is a shell fragment, uh, probably a piece from an artillery shell. Uh, very neat find. I'm excited to have it. I brought it home, cleaned it up through electrolysis. It got all the rust off and then I boiled it in paraffin wax. So it sealed it up and it's not going to rust again. Now where I found this, I have found other shell fragments before. Um, I know where the Union guns were set up and they were raining down fire. Shells, cannonballs, they were raining down on the Confederates right on the property that I'm at. So. Um, I know that there's more out there. I'm really hoping to find a complete artillery shell or a complete cannonball. Um, obviously, not not all of them went off that were fired. So I just I just know they're out there, um, and we're going to be back in this field soon. <laughs>